an operation in Shuja, we have achieved a lot. Um, we have achieved our operational objectives. We have also achieved uh, uh, partly the strategic objectives of this operation. We have defeated the enemy in uh, um, uh, his former camps, first of all. Um, we have disorganized his uh, um, recruitment uh, network. We have disorganized his communication network. We have also disorganized his logistics network. Um, in the areas where the joint forces are operating in Eastern DRC, in Operation Suja, uh, most people have come back to their homes. Most people have gone back to their, to their farms uh, to, to do farming. Churches have opened, schools, churches, and mosques have, have opened in those areas where we are operating. Can so, you assess for me the importance of security uh, for, the, for the two countries in terms of fostering development? Of course, where there is security, definitely it, it, security comes with development. You cannot have development where there is insecurity. So the roads that are being constructed now in the Eastern DRC, for example, the road from uh, uh, Kasim to Beni and uh, up to um, Butembo is in progress. Um, the road that was constructed to, um, to support operations um, uh, from, from, from Nobil to, uh, to Mukakati uh, was completed successfully. Um, the road from, from um, Borasi, that is in Toroko, uh, from Haivale and Borasi in the DRC to Boga is complete now. Um, uh, these are joint uh, projects with the, the DRC government and the road from Eringeti coming to Kainama is also almost getting complete. Uh, we shall embark on the road that go, uh, comes from Mboga to Komanda through, um, through areas of Malibong, Zunguruka, Malibong, uh, Ido up to Komanda. So if, if those uh, uh, projects are completed, the security and the development of Eastern DRC will be going on smoothly. When you look at from 30th November 2021, mm. when you began this operation, mm. where we are now, mm. can you please tell us the, the importance of these African integrations? Of course, like I have told you, the, the joint operations have achieved a lot in Eastern DRC. Um, the enemy has been squeezed in, uh, and uh, defeated in most of his uh, minor camps. Uh, you remember we started with Kambi Yayua, uh, his camps in Tondori, Abia 1, Abia 2, his camps in Belu. Um, uh, of recent, uh, his uh, big camp in Lusurubi uh, was defeated. Um, at the conference of Semelika and Resurubi, we have defeated him at the conference of Njerubi uh, and, and, and Semeliki. So many camps, so the enemy has been defeated in most areas of, of Eastern DRC, that is in North Kivu and Ituri provinces. You know, this operation is, are you saying militarily? Yes, militarily and delightful. Because we've seen changes, people have come back at this business. Yes, 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 yes. You know, these achievements are done by because this is a joint operation. Yes. We went there to support FADAC forces yes. to defeat the ADF. So our uh, our operations are joint. They are carried out jointly with the, uh, the DRC forces, that is FADAC. So uh, I have already told what we have achieved so far in the areas where we are operating from. Um, I don't know what what more you want me to tell you about uh, our uh, successes in the Congo. Mm. What does it? What what motivates you as a person? Um, first of all, um, the military is a, it's a calling. It's a calling. Um, it's uh, about patriotism. It's about being a revolutionary. It's about discipline. It's about hard work and loyalty very very important you should love with all your heart your heart what you do very very important once you love what you do with all your heart 
will always succeed in whatever uh, task you've been given. And um, the assessment as to who should undertake any operation is, uh, is done by the, uh, the, superior co uh, com the higher commanders and superior commanders. In that case, um, the Chief of Defense Forces, the CLF, the Chief of Defense Forces, and of course the Commander-in-Chief. So uh, I cannot assess myself. So all these missions, it's the assessment by the Army leadership that decides on where I should be at what time. Uh, so uh, that is it. Now you are leaving. You've been the Division Commander, mm. Division Mountain Division Commander, mm. Operation Suja. Mm. What have you left? Operation Shubja, um, besides the successes that we have achieved for now, um, there is more to do. The ADF is not uh, finished in the Eastern DRC, they still exist. Mm. Though in small groups, smaller groups, and they are very mobile, they are highly mobile. So there is still a lot to do to defeat this enemy. Still there is a lot to do. We we'll carry out reviews after every two months, but still we have a lot to do. Um, leaving uh, mountain division doesn't mean that uh, I'm leaving the operation. No, uh, the commander land forces oversees these, all these operations. Um, when I was carrying out operations, Shuja, of course, um, the former CLF um, General Mohoska Inrugava was in charge of this operation. When you are CLF, you are in charge of many operations because you are command of the ground forces. The operations in uh, internally, you have to look at operations in Karamoja. You have to, to oversee operations uh, here in the DRC. You have to oversee operations uh, even up. We, are, we have a deployment in Equatorial Guinea. So many operations, you have to, you have a task of making sure that uh, um, all the uh, our borders are secure in Uganda because that's one of the tasks of UPDF to ensure that uh, the, we have se our borders are safe uh, to stop internal external aggression. All this you, is, you have to look at it. Mm. It's a Some big task. Mm. As we conclude, mm. what do you think led to this promotion and depressment and your message to the foot soldiers? Um, usually it's uh, uh, the army leadership is the command in chief who um, assesses our performance and decides on our pro promotions and uh, appointments. So uh, when he sees when he sees it deems uh, fit to 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 it's fit to uh, it's time to um, to appoint or promote. The decision comes from above after he has assessed um, how things are moving. Mm. Your message to the foot soldiers? There is still a lot to do. Um, everything has not been achieved. We have gone a long, long journey. All the, co the four corners of Uganda are now free of the enemy. We are now, uh, Uganda is safe. We are exporting now peace to our neighbors. You can see we are now in Eastern DRC, uh, we are in Somalia, we are in Equatorial Guinea, we have been uh, in, in South Sudan, uh, we have been in the Central African Republic. Uh, so uh, still there is a lot to do in the region because, you know, it's about Pan-Africanism uh, spirit, that spirit that uh, encourages um, our Commanding-in-Chief, um, the UPDF, to uh, continue um, um, uh, looking for uh, assisting in uh, um, achieving peace in the region. Of course, the UPDF has done a lot, like I have been telling you. Um, having a peace in Uganda is not an easy uh, job. So many rebel groups were defeated here in Uganda. Over 30 rebel groups were defeated in Uganda because of uh, the wise leadership uh, by the commander in chief. Because uh, leadership um, is um, is one of the strongest uh, uh, element of combat power. So the 
PDF has achieved what it has achieved because of um, the wise leadership by the command in chief. For years now, we have peace in Uganda. Um, and I think um, uh, UPDF has the capacity, I'm very sure of this, UPDF has the capacity to defend all the borders of Uganda if, the, if at all there is any threat. Thank you, sir. Asante sana. Yes, allow me.